official trendsetter here. Welcome back to a new video. In this video today, I'll be doing a reaction and review of episode 4 of Project Rainbow. So let's get into it. We have Monique in the beginning here still workshopping her catchphrase. It's so cute how she's still working on it. She hasn't totally got it locked down yet, but I can't wait to see it, what it'll be. And then we get a grand entrance of Maria which I don't think is really necessary because we get it, like everyone knows her, she's famous, she's iconic. But I really don't think they need to keep doing that for her. But anyway, everyone's clapping for Maria and we get down to business. She says that we're each team is going to be dressing up two very special guests and Maria tells Sunny and Luna to bring them in and surprise, it's them! They're both the very special guests. So anyway, Rainbow High is going to be designing a look for Sunny and Shadow High is going to be designing a look for Luna, which sounds easy. And of course, Rainbow High is really happy. And then we get down to the fashion twists. So apparently you can't talk to your model about what they want. Instead, Sunny will be talking to Shadow High about what Luna will wear and Luna will talk to Rainbow High about what Sunny would wear. So Shadowhai is looking a little worried after finding out this news. I think it's because Sunny, they think Sunny cannot fully describe what Luna's look should actually be. And then we get down to the leaders for the brand new episode. So the leaders are Skylar and Zoe. So anyway, then we go over to Sunny. She's really excited, but she's also a little bit nervous because she's worried she cannot fully say uh, what Luna's look should be and then Luna she's not worried at all she's super confident because she has ideas for what Sunny's look should be so anyway we go over to Sunny look talking to Shadow High about uh, Lu Luna's look she says like Luna's look is like a evolution not a revolution of course which gets the team a little bit confused and she says Luna always has a a piece from current style into her new look which, so that it'll totally scream Luna and then we of course have Luna talking to Rainbow High saying she, Sunny may not know it but she needs a more sophisticated look Rainbow High is looking a little worried and she's like don't worry Sunny totally loves surprises so we need something big we need something with drama of course then this the girls start sketching and they go over to Jade for hair and makeup and of course, we get a cameo of Jade in this episode. She says she's like uh, really tired from doing Rainbow Vision and doing this Project Rainbow back to back. She's totally here for it, but we can tell she's super tired. She even face bumps herself because she said something wrong. And then we go over to Shadow High. So apparently Zoe designed uh, Luna's look for the two pack. And of course, it's looking really cute here. The Shadow High team is clearly pleased and loving the silhouette. And of course, Zoe's saying she's not buying Luna, uh, Sunny's whole thing about uh, Luna's evolution. Of course, I don't understand why she's so mad about that. Of course, Kala's saying she's not hating the look, but it's missing the Luna touch. So we go over to the Rainbow High team and they get to work. So they're working on the skirt, of course, so they're picking out the biggest voluminous tool and Olivia is loving it. We go in for check-in time. Of course, we go over to Shadow High first and we're taking a look at Luna's skirt over here. Maria saying she loves it, she loves the look. Zoe looking very pleased with herself and the whole other team looking peeved. And of course, she says that it's missing a Luna touch, she's not getting Luna from this. Of course, the whole team's mad at Zoe now. And then, of course, we go to Rainbow High and we're looking at the big poofy skirt for Sunny's look. I think Sunny's look is like really adorable. And then uh, Maria's saying that she's worried about the skirt because Sunny's very active. Of course, Sunny's saying you could say it like it is because she's a huge klutz and there's no way she's not tripping over that big poofy skirt. So anyway, Maria doing this iconic pose here, says everyone needs to do some more work. So anyway, the team is looking a little worried and they go in for a fashion emergency meeting. 
And of course, uh, the Kim is like that. Sunny is one of your besties, Skylar. What do you think? And of course, Victoria is where she's like, it'd be so much easier if we could talk to Sunny. But Skylar says she has a better substitute. Pops in Violet. Violet pops in. Of course, she's the best next thing to Sunny because she knows Sunny better than anyone. And of course, she's also in her runway outfit, which is really confusing. Like, why the girls are in their runway outfit? I think this is purely just for marketing because MJ recently released Fantastic Fashion, which is the line of runway dolls from season one. So I think that's why they just dressed up for it. And then uh, Violet brings in a box of inspo from Sunny's closet. And she says the skirt's gotta go because it's totally covering up the cool socks and clogs you made for Sunny. Of course, they're saying Sunny's favorite t-shirt can go under the jacket. Avery says that Sunny's uh, designs, her drawings can go on the skirt. And of course, Olivia saying that we, we can do something the opposite of tool, more form fitting like vinyl. Suddenly, Victoria gets an idea for Mr. Snugs. Of course, everyone just has like worried faces. But turns out to be amazing because she is the one who designed this cute little bear clutch, which is so cute. Out of Mr. Snugs, Luna's teddy, Sunny's teddy bear. So everyone's super happy. And we go over to Shadow High. Zoe saying she thinks the look is absolutely perfect. But the whole team agrees with Maria saying it, it's missing something. So she says, okay, I have an idea. Then we go over to these little close-ups. And here we can see Poppy also in her runway outfit. She's the one DJing the music. And we can see Sunny and Luna walking in the back. And Maria's looking like really impressed. And we can see these two posing with their new looks. Sunny says she absolutely loves her look. And she's saying it's so cute. I love it. And the only thing cuter than it is this cute little teddy bear clutch that was made. We go over to Luna and she says the look is absolutely amazing. And she loves how you brought back her signature top. Because you know on the original doll, uh, Luna's actually in her original outfit. She's wearing the silver top. So they brought it back in her new outfit, which she thinks is cool. So a little reference there. So Carla's saying it's amazing because from Luna, that's actually a rave. Usually she's not showing that much happy emotion and she just hopes Maria also sees it that way. Of course, Sonia is so happy. She's like, Luna, you create, made them create the perfect look for me. And she's like, don't look at me. I tried to level you up, change your look. Victoria says that she actually... Skylar called in an assist from Violet and Sunny's so happy and we get this little bestie moment she's doing a little heart and so is Violet cute little bestie moment we haven't had any Violet and Sunny moments in season 3 so it, I think this is a really cute scene and then of course we have Maria saying both the teams did a good job but the winner is of course Rainbow High and Maria says that's Luke Skyler calling in Violet was the best thing, saving her team from a fashion fail. And of course, she's saying to Victoria that that bare purse you made was absolutely amazing. And of course, the team's looking really pleased with themselves. And Sonia announces that Victoria is actually this week's winner. And now to the bad part. Someone has to go. Since Shadow High lost, one of their members will go. And of course, that will be their team leader, Zoe. So sad for Shadow High, they lost both their team leaders. Rainbow High didn't even lose their leader, like Aiden voted himself out and Zoe's just gone. Of course, Maria said that a handbag would have completed the look entirely. See, it's Zoe's fault because she didn't actually change anything on Luna's look. She didn't change anything, she thought it was perfect, but they lost because of that. So anyway, uh, Sunny and Luna say that Rainbow High is going on top, but will they stay there? And we'll find out next time on Project Rainbow. So anyway, I think this episode was like really good. I loved the little Sunny and Luna interactions because in such a long time, we haven't had a Sunny and Luna interaction. Like we have in season three had glances at each other. We haven't had them actually talking or hugging each other. So I think it's just so cute just to see these two twins actually interact. 
and we could see using the new outfits they made like two cute little tiktok shorts of them being with each other and we could see they're totally cute twins so anyway that's all for today's uh reaction and review the review of the Elville Surprise 707 Tots Road Trip is coming soon as well. I think probably tomorrow or today. So anyway, until then, official trends are out. Bye, babies.